The important thing to notice is that the United States' interests regarding Pakistan so far have been colored entirely by its desire to get cooperation out of Pakistan vis-a-vis -vis the war in Afghanistan. Uh, issues have revolved around drone strikes, Taliban havens in Pakistan, the Haqqani network, um, you know, how to reward or punish Pakistan for its help or intransigence vis-a-vis -vis Afghanistan. The important thing to note here is that Pakistan is important in its own right and frankly is probably far more important than just the war in Afghanistan. Uh, this is a country with the largest, you know, the fastest growing nuclear arsenal in the world. It's got 180 million people on the wrong side of a radicalization trend. It has a hemorrhaging economy and on top of all that is a, serves as a haven to some of the most dangerous terrorist groups in the world. The United States has an enormous interest in ensuring that Pakistan does not fail as a state and it has an interest in ensuring that Pakistan can become a prosperous state that is a boon to its people and is going to be a reliable ally in the long term. Given that, the question I would ask the candidates is how they plan on balancing the desire to secure Pakistani cooperation in the war in Afghanistan with the more important longer term interests of ensuring that Pakistan does not undergo further destabilization and trying to ensure that Pakistan can become a reliable long term ally.